everyone, and welcome back to the series From Ashes to a New Beginning, written by yours truly, Stacey Holt. Artwork was by Pastel Kitty Gore Art on Instagram, otherwise known as Maddie Kitty 1997 on Divian Art. I'll leave her links below. I highly recommend you go check out her artwork. I'll also leave everyone that is collaborating within this chapter, which are Shane will be voicing Kat Noir and Adrian, Ocean will be voicing Alex, I'll be voicing Marinette, Ladybug, and the narrator. Chapter 23 A Problem Marinette walked to a computer, smiling as she felt the piece of paper in her pocket. She stood in front of a vacant computer and logged in, making sure no one was around to see her type in her information. She breathed out a sigh of relief, and as the box asked her if she would like to change her username and password, she turned her head toward Adrian's office. She noticed Kagami sitting down in front of Adrian and saw that they were having a serious conversation. Then all of a sudden, she handed him a piece of paper and walked out smiling. Marinette quickly turned her head back to the screen and clicked off of it, quickly making her way to her studio room, hoping not to be seen by Kagami nor Adrian. She knew Adrian and Kagami dated a few years ago, but why would she all of a sudden give him a piece of paper and smile at him? Was it business related? Or was she just overthinking? Why did Kagami smile when she walked out? She never smiles. Something was off. Did she give him her number? Was Kagami trying to get back with Adrian? Marinette made it inside of her studio room and shut the door behind her with a sigh of relief, but didn't realize someone was still inside the room with her. Uh, hi Marinette, remember me? She said. Marinette's eyes widened and looked toward the voice and saw Alex. Alex? What are you doing working here? Marinette said. I work here part time. I do some heavy lifting here and there. It's a good workout. She laughed. Alex walked over to Marinette and hugged her. Marinette hugged her back and smiled at her. So, you got a job with Adrian, huh? Alex winked. Uh, yeah. I needed to talk to you anyway, she said, turning toward the door and locking it. What is it, LB? Alex said, a little concerned. I know Cat Noir's identity, Marinette explained. Oh? You do, do you? Who do you think it is? Alex smirked. Alex, I know it's Adrian. Oh, so you do really know. Well, um, what happened? I didn't think you found out until later. Hmm, nothing terrible happened so far. At least, nothing that my future self notified me of. Alex said, thinking to herself. It happened right after one of our classes together. We ran together by accident, and the floor underneath us and the ceiling above us were crumbling. He asked me to close my eyes, but he had no other choice. Marna explained. Hmm, what do you plan on doing with that information? She asked. You are the guardian after all. I know. Marinette sighed, thinking back to how Master Fu passed on the responsibility to her so long ago. Cat Noir and I have been dating for a while, actually. After I found out he was Adrian, we talked about moving in together sometime soon. Moving in together? But, El... Uh, Marinette... What about, you know... Alex hinted. He hasn't akumatized someone in so long. Maybe once in a month or two. I think he has given up. If he hasn't, don't you think it's about time we tell one another our secret? We aren't kids anymore, Alex. Marinette sighed. I understand that, Marinette. But the rules were placed there for many reasons. Remember Chablon? Just think about it before you do decide on doing it. Alex said, giving her a smile, unlocking the door and walking out. It was good seeing you. Be careful. Marinette sighed and saw all of her equipment in the middle of the room, waiting for her to unpack and set up in her new studio. Hours went by, and after a while, her studio was beginning to look like a real designer studio. Before she knew it, the sun had gone down and it was time to leave. Though she had no idea that Adrian was standing in the doorway, 
Watching her unpack her last box, Marinette picked up some pictures that she had inside the box and started placing them on her work desk. Marinette smiled as she looked at one that she had of her and her class, and beside that one she had one of Ladybug and Cat Noir, though in the reflection of the glass she saw Adrian standing in the doorway and turned around in a flustered panic. Uh, oh! Adrian! Well, what are you doing in here? Marinette squeaked. I was going to come and see if you were done for the day. It looks really good in here, by the way. Adrian said, walking over to look closer at the photos. When did you get time to take pictures and put them in frames? He asked. I got them from my phone. Mom and Dad bought us all new ones. I downloaded them from the iCloud, and I printed them off and put them in a frame. I can't exactly put my boyfriend in my office, so I put his, uh, alter ego instead. She laughed. Adrian smiled at Marinette and then took her hand in his as he pulled her toward the door to leave. Marinette let out a slight giggle from the sudden affection and started following him out of the studio outside until they made it to his car. All of a sudden, he let go of her hand. Sudden movement caught her attention as Adrian tossed something into the air toward Marinette and she caught it in her hands. It felt cold and as it landed in her hands, she heard it jingle. She uncovered her hands and looked down. He had tossed her his car keys. Uh, huh? She screamed. She instantly looked at him as he let out a laugh. Have you ever drove a car before? He asked. You say that like it's a bad thing. And no, I've never needed to, she said pouting. You have your license, don't you? Y yes I mean, I took the test when I turned 18, but I only ever passed that driving test. That was years ago. I don't really remember anything about driving. Adrian smiled and gently nudged her to the driver's seat. He opened the car door and she stood there for a second, taking a gulp, intimidated just by looking at it. Come on, princess. It isn't that scary. I'll help you. You have your knight in shining armor with you. He smirked. Marinette laughed and rolled her eyes, stepping inside the car as he shut it behind her. Adrian quickly made his way to the passenger seat and shut it behind him, clicking the seatbelt in already seeing that Marinette had hers already clicked in. Marinette put the key in and turned it, feeling the car's engine start. Adrian could see her hand shaking, and he knew she was nervous. It was an expensive car, and he knew she didn't want to damage his property, but he wanted to teach her how to drive. This was exciting. All right, put the car in reverse, Adrian said. Though a few seconds passed and nothing was done, Adrian turned his head to look at her and saw she was still as a statue. Marinette? Are you okay? Yeah, just fine. Just need time to prepare, she said, taking a breath. All right, all right, she repeated, taking another breath. She took her hand and put the car into reverse. She then put her foot on the gas. All right, gently press it. You'll feel the car move. Don't press too hard or you'll jerk the car. It'll be all right. You're learning, he said comfortingly. Marinette turned to Adrian with a worry look, and he gave her another comforting smile, trying to stay positive for her. She nodded and returned back to the wheel. Now that you're in reverse, turn your head around towards the back of the car and look at where you're going to back up, he explained. Turn around? B but She asked, startled. It's all right. Trust me. Marinette nodded and did what she was told. Turning her head around to look out the back of the car, she gently pressed on the gas, feeling the car move ever so slightly. It scared her a bit, and she took her foot off of the gas, which caused the car to gently roll on its own. She let out a slight squeak, causing Adrian to laugh to himself. Stop laughing at me! She pouted. Sorry, sorry. It's just... cute. He smiled. You're doing fine. Turn the wheel and put your foot back on the gas. Marina did what he asked, and eventually the car turned, though if any passerby saw the car, they probably would have thought the car was either pulled over because they had car trouble, or the driver was intoxicated. Alright. At least now we can put it in drive. Adrian smiled. But that's on the main road! She frowned. I told you I haven't done this since I was 15! What if I wreck your car? I can't pay for it! What if we get hurt? What if I hurt someone else? Calm down. We'll take the back roads. Also, it's super late. Not a lot of people are out and about at this hour. If anything happens, 
I'll take full responsibility. He smiled, reassuring her, placing his hand on top of hers. Marinette sighed and agreed, putting the car into drive. After a while of Adrian's reassuring words and Marinette starting and stopping, they eventually got on the main road with a slow, steady speed of 20 miles per hour. As they arrived at the Agress mansion that night, Marinette turned off the engine and stepped out of the car, hands shaking. Adrian opened his car door and ran over to her, worried if she were alright. She acted fine in the car right over, though she was quiet. He just assumed she was concentrating, but didn't think she was affected that much. Are you alright? He asked. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. She smiled. Oh, her hands were shaking from being nervous and due to the burning excitement. She just couldn't express it inside the car because of how nervous she was. He smiled and hugged her, wrapping his arms around her. Marinette closed her eyes, hugging him back. I'm glad you had fun. You can drive it any time, princess. He smiled. I'm not sure about all of that. Marinette blushed, letting go of Adrian and shutting the car door. Marinette started toward the aggressive mansion, but was caught by Adrian's hand, causing her to stop. Well, there's something that's been bothering me, and I've been thinking of something. Adrian said. Marinette could hear the seriousness in his voice. What's wrong? She asked, turning back around. You said we could live together in the future, right? He began. Of course. She smiled, reassuring him. Your parents know you're dating Cat Noir. The realization hit her like a pile of bricks. Right. How is Adrian going to move in with me if I'm dating Cat Noir? Marinette said, putting the pieces together. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, you can go check out some of my other videos like Thunderstorms, which is season one, Downpour, which is season two of Thunderstorms, The Butterfly That Brought Us Together, and so on. But for now, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys!